Today we'll show you how to separate alcohol from sand sanitizer. Wait, did I just say sand sanitizer? What I mean is hand sanitizer. Alright, let me try this again. Today we'll show you how to separate alcohol from hand sanitizer. There you go. This is something that you can get for free nowadays. After the pandemic, nobody needs this anymore. So I can get a lot of this for free. If you read the label on the back, it would say alcohol 72%. So I can just use this and put it in my alcohol stove and I can use this for fuel. But the problem with that is because it has 72% alcohol, the rest is something else and it is glycerin. And glycerin is added to keep your skin moist and it doesn't dry out your skin. The problem with glycerin is that it does not burn in this alcohol stove, at least at the temperature which the alcohol burns. So when you burn this fuel in an alcohol stove, when all of the alcohol is burned off, what you have left is a gummy mixture of nasty thing on the bottom and it's gonna ruin your stove. Let me show you what I mean. I'm gonna have some of these in this container and I'm gonna burn it. Let's go ahead and burn this. Very nice blue flame. I turned off the light to see how clean this burn. Very nice blue flame. Ethanol burns very clean. I use this to cook for camping and it has absolutely no soot on my pot. We're almost at the end here and you can see there's a lot of material that is left that does not burn. So here you can see after all the alcohol is consumed there are still a lot of gunk left over that did not burn and this is the stuff that accumulate on the bottom of this stove here and over time it's going to accumulate and it's going to ruin the stove. So next let me show you how to separate the alcohol from the hand sanitizer. I'm going to pour some of the hand sanitizer in here and I'm going to use table salt, sodium chloride and mix it with the hand sanitizer and you don't need much salt to put in here you need about 10% of salt so I have about 50 milliliter of hand sanitizer in here so I need about five only five grams of salt let's just pour it in here and don't worry if you add too much salt because it's just gonna sink to the bottom now without doing anything yet you can already see it's starts to gel up see it starts to get cloudy on the top here sodium chloride does not dissolve in glycerin it does not dissolve in alcohol either but sodium chloride forms a gel with glycerin and it will kind of precipitate so it will form a gel and it will separate from the alcohol so I'm just going to stir it lightly and the trick here is to stir it lightly not too much because you want it to form big clumps not small clumps so that um, with a big clump you can easily separate later but you only have to stir it lightly just for like two minutes or so and here you can see big clumps already form here and big clumps like this makes a lot easier for you to filter it out later to make sure that you have enough salt in the solution just look at the bottom of the container you can see after I mix it to about two minutes I still have table salt on the bottom of the container so that means it is saturated with salt so I have enough salt in this solution so the white stuff that precipitate is a mixture of glycerin and table salt the liquid 
on the top is alcohol. Now all I have to do is to filter this out. You can use a coffee filter to filter this out. I don't drink coffee so I'm just going to use good old paper towel and uh, this paper towel is from uh, Costco it's, it's very good I like it a lot you can see most of the liquid stays on top so it's very easy to filter out in fact I don't even need the filter you can see all of the solid stays on the bottom so it's very easy to separate the alcohol from this solid and you can see through there it's dripping down the uh, the liquid is dripping down but the paper towel also soaked in a lot of alcohol so filtering like this you also waste a lot of alcohol this way I think I used too much paper here so a lot of the alcohol sucked out into the paper so if you don't want to waste it use a smaller piece of paper or I'm just gonna squeeze it out just like that not too much though because I might also introduce the solid in here that should be good enough. Now you can see this liquid here is much less viscous than the hand sanitizer on the right side. And that's it. We are done. Now all we have to do is to burn it. I want to compare this with the last time with the hand sanitizer before the filtration let's put some in here and we're gonna burn it and I'm gonna label it filter so I can tell the difference between this and the original hand sanitizer very nice blue flame now the flame just went out on this you can see it's absolutely clean the difference is night and day let me bring this inside and compare so here we go on the right side is the original hand sanitizer burn on the left side is the one that already filtered out absolutely clean there's absolutely nothing in here what a stark contrast here's the close-up totally different so there you have it, how to separate alcohol from sand sanitizer. Not sand sanitizer, uh, you know what I mean. By using table salt or sodium chloride. Nowadays there are a lot of companies give away hand sanitizer for free by the pallets. I got a lot of this for free and uh, it doesn't cost me anything except with some table salt. And I can have free fuel for my alcohol stove for life. And that's all for now, folks. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.